the format of being robot. In 2009, I went to some carnival in my area with my dad just for the heck of it. The last thing I did there is play that game where you throw darts at balloons. If you've ever been to a single fair or carnival, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, I played that game and got the small prize, an alien doll. When I first got it, I loved the doll to death for some reason. However, that love is now replaced with fear, as you will see later. So we brought the lime green colored alien doll back to my house. I hung it up on one of the knobs on my closet, and barely ever touched it for three years. It was just hanging there. It was in the exact same pose for three years. I forgot it was there until just recently. Here I am now, an 8th grader heading to high school in a few months instead of an energetic 6th grader fresh out of elementary school, always busy with computer games, the internet, anime, American animation, British animation, things like that. These days, I just spend all day every day on my computer, only standing up and walking a couple times each day just to either go use the bathroom, get some soda, eat something, or go to sleep. Besides my stepmom being a nuisance sometimes, all was well in my world. This is what I thought. Within the last few months, I started getting these eerie and very very strange dreams. I've gotten ones with characters from popular creepypastas hunting me down, satanic messages, the general sense of feeling alone and defenseless in a harmful environment, so on and so forth. The most recent one of these dreams is where I decided to spend all night watching old Cartoon Network shows like Kids Next Door, Id Id and Iddy, Dexter's Lab, and many others. At around midnight, the VHSs I was watching them on started making very distorted visuals with a red tint and missing animations, sometimes making it look like one character's murdering another. It got to the point where I started feeling uncomfortable and decided to just turn off the television and go back upstairs to sleep. When I turned off the TV though, instead of turning off, it would show a black and white still image of a certain character from one of the shows I was watching, no pupils in their eyes, no mouth, staring straight at me. I keep trying to turn off the TV, each attempt making a new image appear. Until finally, for some reason, it started showing a crystal clear video of a palm tree with a face, like as if it was from an annoying orange video, or a random episode of Veggie Tales, talking in a distorted voice that sounded like instructions on how to hang yourself. At that moment, I became hysterical and started running up the stairs. That was when I awoke at 3 in the morning, the first thing I see is that alien shaped doll hanging on my closet. This was how every night I had a weird dream went. I have a dream and then wake up at an absurdly early hour with the alien shaped doll being the first thing I see when I wake up. This is only on nights where I don't position my computer chair to where it's blocking the alien doll though, so I'm starting to think that it's somehow connected to these dreams, channeling them into my mind. I'm going to do a few experiments and see if my hypothesis is correct. If it is, I'm going to destroy it, because these dreams are making me lose sleep and causing me large amounts of stress. I don't know why, but I get a weird feeling that I was being watched while typing this entire thing, even though there's no one else in this room. May 6th, 2012. Last night before I went to sleep I tried putting the doll in a drawer. Then I purposely left the computer chair in a position where I could see the doll if it were still upon the closet. No lucid dreams. So far, my hypothesis is correct, 